LeBron James goes for 31 points in the loss. He's speaking with Mike and the media. Hey, LeBron, Frank has talked about how you know, typically the next day uh, the knee is is pretty sore after you put in a night and you're able to kind of use that time to get back. You did play in the one back-to-back -back that you had earlier in February, but just wondered how that impacts your recovery and, and what the mindset is for tomorrow night. Well, I mean, only time will tell. Obviously, we're about to hop on the fly right now, head back to L.A., so um, it's usually the following day. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll wake up and, and see how it feels tomorrow. And, Get to the arena like I always, like I always uh, do, and, and start to prepare and, and see um, how it reacts to uh, to the game tonight. So I'm hoping for the best. Just curious, your analysis tonight, and a lot of it in that first quarter, you know, when Phoenix goes for 48. Yeah, I mean, listen, you can't uh, versus the number one team in the league. There's no way you can go down, um, you know, 26 points at the end of the first quarter, give up 48, um, and expect to uh, make a game out of it. Um, you know, we played, you know, pretty good ball in the second quarter. Um, you know, but you can't, you can't dig a hole like that versus a team like this. Bill. LeBron, um, I'm sure there are other questions about the game, but we um, had the opportunity to talk to AD for the first time since his injury today, and you know, it seems like there's some progress and that he's going to be able to get back on the court, but who knows what that timeline ends up looking like. Are you able to look ahead at all to when he gets back and, and what kind of difference that can make for this team, or is that something you just have to kind of keep in the future and – when you get there, you get there. Yeah, it's more of when you get there, you get there. And obviously, you know, his health is what's most important for not only himself but for our franchise. But at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, my focus is sorely on each day, each game. You know, that we, pro you know, as we plan and you know, trying to stay, you know, in the hunt, um, you know, of the, of the plan or whatever the case may be. So, um, yeah, when that when that happens, I'm, excuse me. Obviously, I'm gonna be extremely excited. I mean, um, miss the guy, miss the big fella out there, but. Um, I can't focus on that right now, um, but you know, seeing him not in a boot is definitely um, definitely a, a plus for sure. LeBron, for the season, you guys are nine games under 500, but even with the loss tonight, you're a game over 500 with you starting at center. Um, what do you think, or do you think that that is the direction to go, the best option for you guys in the interim? I mean, obviously, I mean, it's hard to uh, to say. I think we. You know, we only had 11 games with me starting at center, I believe. I think we six and five or seven and six. But um, it's a small dosage, obviously. But, I mean, we've had uh, so many different lineup changes this year and, and trying to figure out ways which ones works the best. Um, that's probably been the only one that's been above 500. Um, so, you know, we've tried to stick with it. We've just try to have some consistency with some lineups, you know. And, uh, you know, like you said, tonight was not a, you know, a winning ingredient for it. But we've had, you know, some very good moments that, uh, with me starting at center. I know statistical milestones certainly feel more meaningful if they're attached to a win. But I'm just curious, considering it's it's a one-of-one one type of stat, becoming the first player in league history to reach 10K in points, rebounds, and assists, uh, what that caused you to pause and reflect on? Uh, well, my teammates congratulated me um, after the game. Um, my mom texted me. Uh, you know, I believe she hit me at halftime. I seen me after the game, but um, I mean, it's just it's, it's just pretty like I get lost for words anytime like things like this is happening to me. I'm um, just knowing where I come from. I automatically start thinking to my hometown of Akron and you know my upbringing and where I come from and. Um, the dreams that I had of being in this being in this league and playing at the the highest level, um, you know, and to now sit alone at a, at a statistical category in this league um, that I really like, you know, model my game after being able to score, rebound, and assist. Um, you know, to sit alone at a, at a stat is um, it's pretty like I, think I say cool, but then it's like. It doesn't quite make sense to me, um, but it's an honor to be a part of this league. And no matter what's going on the season, you try to take the 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 the, 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 the victories that 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 happens, you know, throughout the course of a long marathon. And uh, tonight is one of them for not only myself but for my hometown, uh, for my family and friends. Dan. LeBron Malik said that he thought there are nights when this team doesn't just this team just doesn't try enough um has the effort have you seen consistent enough effort at a winning level from from this team um i think when we uh when we get down 
uh, we've lost so many games that uh, uh, we feel like we can get out of the hole um, at times. And, um, you know, a team going to a 12-0 run or 9-1 run. I mean, tonight we was up, you know, 8-2. to two, um, And then they went on a, you know, a quick um, run after that. And I don't even know the run it was, but they just, you know, started blitzing us after that. And we just, you know, as a, as a collective unit, um, we haven't been in the the foxhole enough to be able to say, okay, we can get out of this. And, you know, that's something that's, that's hurt us all throughout the season. Actually, that was my question. Does, to follow up real quickly, does getting 80, a guy you have been in the foxhole with, does, you know, and obviously the team has, like, the team won't get the continuity. Whatever. Yeah, but I mean, just getting him back. How, like, how much will that? Yeah, fix? I mean, it puts a bandaid on some things, but I mean, um, we we just haven't had enough chemistry, enough time, um, you know, with our with our group to be able to know exactly who we are and what we can become, and had enough minutes on the floor. Um, you know, we literally just played a team that has. You know, probably had the most consistent starting lineup um, over the last two or three years, um, and obviously CP's been out, but you know they, they bring in Cameron Payne, and you know the, the thing keeps going. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be challenging for us, but 80 definitely helps. But it's not the, you know, uh, you know the, the answer to all the, to all the questions. Thanks, Bobby.